Now you can bring the arcade experience home because your vision is our vision. ColecoVision. You are the player. Because your vision is our vision. The player. Well, let's convert a Sega Genesis gamepad over to use on the ColecoVision. We're going to have two button control. Take this bad boy apart. Now we've got the cover off the control, and the next thing we're going to do is remove the circuit board, and we're going to remove all these components, or desolder them from this circuit board, and remove all these wires. So let's do that next. All right, I got all the components removed from the circuit board here. Now, before you move these wires, pay special attention to them because on the circuit board, it actually has it labeled what pin this wire goes to in the nine pin plug right here. So make yourself a little chart saying, you know, the brown wire is pin one, the red wire is pin two. You'll need that for when you come to the other side of the board and you start soldering the wires back on on this side. So let's do that next. Let's make a chart for these wires. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to cut a couple circuit traces on this board here. The first one we're going to cut is right here, right across this. And the second place we're going to cut is right here. So I'm going to use a little Zacto knife and very carefully cut the trace. They do the same thing with the one down here. There we go. Now use a voltmeter to make sure you got that cut. Do a continuity check from here to here and there to there to make sure that the trace is cut. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to solder a jumper wire from this location right here over to this pin right there. So let's do that next. And right there is the jumper wire. There to there. Now next we're going to start soldering back on our wires back onto the circuit board. So this is where it's important that you have your little uh, chart so you know what wire goes where. So let's do that next. All right, pin one, brown. Really didn't have to remove this one, I did, but you don't have to. It goes back right here, which is the up. So pin brown, one brown goes there. Pin number two, which is red, is going to go right next door, right here. So let's do that next. And there's pin two, red, hooked up right there. Now let's move on to pin three, orange. Pin three, orange, goes right there where the IC used to be. Right there. Now let's go to pin four, yellow. Pin four, yellow, goes right here where the IC used to be. Third one over from the right. Next up is pin five, green. Pin five, green, goes right there. On that little, right there. Now let's move on to pin six, blue. Pin six, blue, goes right there. Now pin seven is not used. That would be like the plus five volts. So we're going to skip pin seven and move on to pin number eight, which is black. So pin eight, black, goes right there. Next up, pin nine, white. 
pin 9 white goes right there. Ba -ba -boom. Awesome. So there's all the wiring mods. So now we put this back together, we should be able to have two button operation with our ColecoVision. So let's put it back together and give it a try. All right, let's give the controller a test here. So down, up, left, right, cool. Let's pick a game. I don't know what system test. There we go. Let's let's select cosmic, cosmic something, cosmic Avenger. That's a two button game. Now, I have a really cool Y cable hooked up. Hang on a minute. Angle down. There we go. Here's a really neat Y cable I've got hooked up to my ColecoVision that's made by Paul Nermanen, who is the Intellivisionary's host. Uh, he's making these Y cables for the ColecoVision, so you can plug in a regular controller like this in conjunction with like an Atari joystick or anything else you want to plug in. So let's get back to my mod here. So we're going to select one player. Player one. All right, here we go. Button two. Oh, hey, awesome. So there we go. I now have a Sega Genesis controller to use on my ClecoVision with two button controller. Oh, you son of a blankety blank. Awesome. Thanks for watching. You are the player. Because your vision is our vision. The player. You are the player.